start a unit on the levels of organization, which uh, we're going to focus on how we fit into the world. It's complex, there are all kinds of creatures, um, this, the system of the world around us is hard to figure out. So we're going to piece it together, figure out where we are within the world, and um, figure out what's going on within us as well. There are a lot of systems at work. So to begin, we're going to jump right into some, it's kind of vocabulary, but we're going to make it research E. So each of you are going to get one word, but they're less than my actual class. So some of you guys will get more than one, and you need to research this word. It's one of the levels of organization, and you need to become um, the master of it. You need to know it in and out, and then you're going to teach it to the rest of the class. So use your textbooks or computers, smartphones, whatever we have in the classroom to become really familiar with your term and then put it in terms that everyone else can understand. I don't want it to be a dictionary definition, something uh, everybody can just figure out real easy and then we'll move on to a different activity. So. So while you're researching, I'm going to draw something on the board, so act like you're researching. You guys have a reference sheet with some definitions just so you don't have to look them up. And whoever comes up to be the teacher has to wear the official teacher hat of the day. Once you put this on, your word is what counts. Everybody has to listen to you and trust everything you say. So you better be right. <laughs> so we would do that. And while that's going on, so we'll be doing this. Does anybody want to do that, by the way? It might actually help. I gave us a word. Oh, yeah, I didn't assign you words there. No. But you can choose one. I'll do one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this more specific? Uh, just, I, I wasn't very clear about this. So, when you come up, we're just going to talk about definitions, um, and then everyone else write down that definition in your notes. Sorry. So my word was atoms. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter. Um, 
98% of the body weight of organisms is made up of only six elements, six types of atoms. These elements are listed in the periodic table of measurements given based on one atom. Examples are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Thanks, Colton. Anybody else want to go on finishing this? You can go again. <laughs> <laughs> structural and functional unit of an organism. Some examples of cells are nerve cells and brain cells. They're not the same as atoms, because they only make up organisms, not other things. Okay, this is the last time I said. Okay, in a perfect situation, you guys would have taught each other all of these words, and we would spend some time with it so that you're comfortable with them. And now, to get a visual idea of how they work together, because we're looking at the system, which is the world, which is a lot. I'm trying to figure out where stuff fits in. Does anyone have any ideas where any of them might fit in this triangle? Up here is, there's only one of these in the world. And down here is in everything. From broad to very narrow. Ecosystem at the very bottom. No. Atoms. Adam, atoms have to Oh, okay. so it's flipped. Okay. Yeah, it's tricky. There are the most of these, uh, but they are the smallest. What next? Um, cells. Not quite. Molecules. What? Molecules? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then cells. And then cells. Yeah. And tissues. Tissues. Organs. They're catching all of them. Okay. Systems. Organ systems. Mm -hmm. Organisms. Organisms. Uh, Population. Yeah. Community. Uh, Ecosystems. Biomes. Biomes. Why, why do you think either way? Biomes are a type of habitat, whereas biosphere is all the habitat. Right. Yes, that would go to the top, but would like to. Ecosystems. Are there multiple ecosystems in the biome? There are. There are. So ecosystem and biome. Okay. And then biosphere. Nice work. You guys are brilliant seven. <laughs> really, really smart. <laughs> Way to go. Okay. Any questions about this first? No? What does biome mean? A biome is... The easiest way for me to recognize a biome is what vegetation lives there. If you have a forest, like a coniferous forest, you can have an ecosystem in just like a rotting log, but the biome is forest in general. There can be different patches of it across the world. Like in Wyoming. <laughs> okay. Right there. Okay. Uh, Wyoming. 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 Um, organisms. Right. What else? What about our class? What our class be? Just the people in our class. Population. It could be a population. Yeah. What about our ecosystem? Jump ahead. The town. It could be a town. It could be this classroom. It's all of the living and non-living things that are interacting with here. 
And then to get more specific from organisms, these are these all make us. They're all a part of us. So as we go through this unit, we're going to take a look at each one um, and relate them to ourselves to get a better picture of where we fit in and what actually makes up the human organism. So uh, the next part is some reflective writing you guys will find on the last page, or second to last page. And uh, write two or three paragraphs where humans fit in first and how might we affect other levels of organization. We didn't talk about this, just think about it. We interact with each other, our environment. What, what are we doing? How do we fit in? What do we change around this? Take a few minutes to write about that. And in, as a review, instead of going through every one of these and talking about definitions, I just want everybody to think about what an example of each might be that we haven't talked about. An example that we can see every day or that we've experienced or interacted with. You want an example of each level? Uh, or just any. Just any level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for organ system, the digestive system. You're right. That's a good one. Okay. Our skin is an organ. It is. Um, it's that was kind of debatable because it's also tissue. I thought somebody would say that. Um, <laughs> also but, next level. What's that? Yeah, seventh grade. <laughs> Yeah, that's communities, and we're like part of the teaching community. Yeah, see that, uh, and that's that's our review, and that's in class. With one minute to spare today, perfect. Yeah. All right, very quickly, what did David do well? Responded to our, what we said pretty well. Okay, yeah, nice um, back and forth with getting the class involved. Obviously, if you had more people going up and getting information out. Yeah, the hat didn't quite work. Kind of it's okay. It's all good. Really good questions. Like, for the students and to keep them in, interacting in the class. Good question. Side note, if you're going to have students wear something, I suggest like a lanyard or something you put around your neck. Um, okay. just, just for the sake of... Um, yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean, I was like, I was cleanliness. Like, I, I, 